Hello guys, thanks for coming back to watch another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Texas rig, really how I fish the Texas rig, why I fish a Texas rig, and just show you really how effective it can be and why it's the best choice for big rivers. So um, hopefully we can manage a few fish. Also in this video I'm only going to be fishing one venue and it's going to be in, it's all going to be filmed in one day. So I'm hopeful I can still find a big fish. This is a new venue for me. I've never fished it before. I'm just going to search it out on the Texas rig like I usually would and, uh, and we'll see what we can find. The stretch of river we're fishing today is a new stretch but it's just a really wide and pretty plain stretch of river. Now, it's done some big perch before and I'm pretty confident I'll be able to find one but um, yeah, see what happens. Texas rig, super simple. we a sliding bullet weight, mind the tungsten, stick bait or whatever, or you prefer. going to go in come out as a harsher angle as you can because that'll sit on the shoulder of the hook then you want to sit that at the side of there make a note where it comes through and then go straight straight through the wall and the hooks it's relatively you can um, prick the tip of the wall in there as well but I prefer not to and that's it Don't use a hook that's too heavy. If you do, it'll stop, especially if you're using a TPE lure, because it'll stop it floating. That's down now. And what we're gonna do when we touch down, just gonna lift up, wind the slack in, jig jig, slack in. Obviously, because we're in a large river here, the, the lure's gonna come round as it does. And what you don't wanna do, you don't want to just sit there and let your line blow ahead of your lure and that's why I jig quite frequently. But fishing a still water or a slow part of the river, I would jig a lot slower. I'd rather control the movement myself and keep my line as straight as I can. If you let a big bow blow in your line, even if you do get a bite, your chances are you're not, you've takes all the power out your strike. Because you're effectively straightening the bow out before you're putting any weight on the fish. Nice to tell by. There we go. Took long enough on a stick flex. But uh, yeah, they were far out in the river. They, you know, they're real difficult today. Fishing every peg, not even getting bites in them. Um, not even getting bites in every peg. But um, it's the worst part of the day. Weather's good for it, but like I said, recently we entered any rain. There's no colour in the river. None of these things help. But I'll stop making excuses and just catch some more fish. <laughs> big perch. Big perch, big perch. Nope, tiny pipe. Ah, oh, I'm gonna fish again. Oh, you fuck. And the water's not slipped. Oh, straight down it's gone. I can't leave now until I've stuck one of these. It's becoming personal at this point. Got that one. I don't feel like a bad fish to be honest. Still playing here. Another one that stick bait. Fine fish. <laughs> I 
You know, it's another decent little fish. Still having it nice and slow. Just doing some some slow little jigs in. Ah, that's my lap. Just some slow little jigs in the margin. Which means that I don't know what happened. Oh, that was a good bite. Is this a Xander? Another good perch. That's certainly a better fish. Chunky little perch. Really hard bite out there in a long cast. Love catching them further out in the river. Just had a hit off something that I completely missed. Perfect river fish, aggressive balls there, just how we like them. Great little perch in the creature bait. Great fish. That's a little bit better one. A little chunky perch on the, uh, it's a little helmet brooch that, but uh, yeah, a little shad just down in the margin. We'll take it. As for the why use a Texas rig, for me, it's just a really slick rig. It cuts through the air really well, it cuts through the water really well, it very rarely gets snagged. Obviously, tying it, coupling it with a, a floating law, the law works itself. All you need to do is cast it out in the river, stay in contact with it. You can mix your retrieve up, but just keep scooping that line back in and getting rid of that bow in your line, and you'll be absolutely fine. Have confidence in it, it's a really, really good rig. The fish love it, and it's, it's just the best way. I, I think it's the best way to fish rivers like this. Probably not the best rig for picking up big perch, but I've got 100% confidence in big perch taking it as well as small perch. It's a great, great way of searching the river for fish. Oh yeah. Oh, change of colour, that worked. Oh. Probably a pike and what is about white and jack pike. Really? Might need yeah, it's decent fish. Yeah. Big fish. Well, that's a nice fish mate that. Yeah. Look at that, all them casts and change that change colour to white, first cast. Good. Another great fish on the Texas rig. Made a quick change to um, to white after about 100 casts with no bite and um, first cast another nice fish so what you've got here on the river is deep um, I mean there's not much water in the river now but you've still probably got eight foot two rod lengths out so on the outside of a bend the river leans this way but it's not that fast flowing that you can't fish it properly so at my feet here I've got a slope of rocks coming up and as you'd expect I hit that big perch right at the bottom of that slope just fishing my, my Texas rig like I have been doing on a stick flex. Just touch, touch, wait, pop, pop, wait, and it's all it takes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is what we've been looking for. Look at that. It's a quality of fish. It's not quite be a three pounder, but it's a clonking too. It just goes to show, and this is why I love these stick baits and 
the Texas rig. It's simple, it's easy to fish, and at the end of the day, you know, there's some people think they might be too small for the bigger perch, but they're not. They're not too big for the small perch, they're not too small for the big perch. It's just it's a great lure to throw around and you know, what a giant. Well that's going to do it for me today then. You know, I've had a really good day today. I just wanted to come out and show people how I fish the Texas rig and just have a cover water quick and, and move on. I mean, I haven't fished that quick today, but there's one bit, I fished a bend on the river and there's one like pronounced bit of the bend which just looked right for perch and I figured I'd find a big fish down there if I put the time in, so. And it worked out all right, you know. I do know this river well, but, but the method of the Texas rig is solid for fishing big rivers and anywhere. I mean, I can fish the Texas rig any venue. I like it a lot just because it's, it's snag free. The only thing you really need to adjust different is when you strike, you really need to give them a good whack. Um, but apart from that, just, just go and give it a try because it's an easy rig to fish. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and a subscribe and, um, and yeah, I'll have more coming soon, so thank you.